Hello, welcome. This is a five minute Aptis video. It's here to help you get a good score in the Aptis test. There are more Aptis videos on this channel and I hope you enjoy them. In this video, we're going to look at the third speaking part. It has three questions. In question one, you have to talk about two pictures. These pictures are different, of course, but they have um, something in common, a common topic like um, education or travel. So in this video, I'm going to focus on question one. What I have here are two photographs that show different outdoor locations. The first one is a city. The second one is an area of countryside. When you're talking about two photos, it's a good idea to find some similarities and differences. Let me show you some examples. In this first example, um, I've got two sentences, one, two, which talk about similarities. I want to highlight the keywords that help me uh, express those similarities. I hope you agree with my opinion here that the places look quiet and peaceful even though the first picture shows us a busy city. In example number two um, I've used a high-level word to express similarity. Likewise, it means in the same way. You can see here and here that I've written some similarities and I've used this word to make the connection very clear. If we use this word in writing, we often put it at the beginning of a sentence and we use a comma. And what about the differences between the two pictures? Well, there are many differences as you've probably noticed already. In terms of the buildings you can see in the pictures, there's a big difference. We've got a bunch of skyscrapers here but just a few houses here. To express this difference I've used by contrast. You can see that these words come at the beginning of a new sentence and there's a comma. Also the skies are different. In the picture on the left the sky is overcast which means cloudy and grey. In the picture on the right there are clouds, but there's a lot of blue sky too. This time I've used whereas to express the difference. This word is a conjunction. It joins sentences using linking words like by contrast and whereas can sound impressive. But if you can't remember these fancy words, you could always use but to express differences you can see in the two photos. I've just about got enough time to give you a quick test on the vocabulary I have taught in this video. Let's have a look at this test now. And here we are. I've got four tasks for you. Please try to complete the spaces with a word or phrase I've taught in this video. I'm going to reveal the answers in just a few seconds, so please pause the video now. Okay, so the answers. I hope you got all of these correct. And now time is up, so I hope you enjoyed this video. This video was part of the 5 Minute English channel. I invite you to uh, have a look at more of the videos and subscribe too.